The Smiley J Artist Zone, a platform for and about independent artists, music, interviews, and much, much more. Now, give it up, your host, Smiley J. to the Smiley J Artist Zone, a fun place for independent artists creating music that brings us together, music that makes us happy, music that inspires us, make us think, and my personal favorite, music that make us dance. I'm your show host, Smiley J, and I want to welcome each and every one of you guys. I am so glad that you made a conscious decision to hang out with me today. Speaking of hanging out, Hanging out with me today in the Artist Zone is the talented and gifted Mr. Terrence Thompson. What a talented fella he is. Now, before I bring him on, I have a few little, uh, got a few shout outs. Uh, I have some new listeners. I get so excited when I have new listeners. I have some new listeners in Italy. Welcome, Italy. I'm so glad that you are tuning in. And, uh, you know, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Smiley J underscore Artizone. Also like and follow my Facebook page, the Smiley J Artizone. Also YouTube. You know, follow anywhere you want on your favorite podcast platform. I'm glad you're tuning in. And if today is your first time tuning into the Smiley J Show, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you are here. I'm here each and every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you come on back and bring a friend. Now, before I bring Terrence on, you guys know what time it is. You want to know, smile. To all my creators and members of ASCOT and BMI, be sure to take advantage of the many offer benefits available to its members, such as educational online music courses, multi-course certificate programs, and degree programs covering all areas of music, you know, as well as other useful benefits that most members do not take advantage of. For example, BMI members can save up to 26% on FedEx shipping services, which means that you can ship demo and collaborations to other artists for a timely arrival, even internationally. So go ahead and take advantage of those benefits, which are right at your fingertips. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love saving. I love saving and, you know, anywhere I can cut corners and, you know, save, you know, save a corner too. I'm all about it. Now, before I bring on today's guest, let me just tell you a little bit about him. Terrence Thompson is a versatile artist who has collaborated with a diverse group of artists, musicians, and producers across all music genres, which includes Teddy Riley of Backstreet to prolific jazz drummer and producer Nate Smith, who, by the way, is a three-time Grammy nominee. In fact, it was Terrence who handpicked and recorded music for Michael Jackson's Heaven Can Wait, which was uh, produced by Nate Smith for Terrence Production Company. Now, Terrence's first project, entitled If I Only Had a Band, is a very nice add to your music collection. So I'm going to need you guys to please help me welcome Mr. Terrence Thompson. <laughs> Greetings. Welcome to the Smiley J Artist Zone. How are you today? I'm great. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, congratulations to you, sir, on your first solo project. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Now, you wrote, produced, arranged the entire project? Yes. That, yep. The entire project. You know, it was, it was a just a pet project of mine that I kind of wanted to do, and it turned out to be what it is. And I'm very fortunate and, and happy with, you know, the end result. And you should be. And let me just say, I am a music head and I appreciate all music genres, but I do have a love affair for jazz, R&B and world music. <laughs> and um, I must say that this project is everything. You nailed it. And uh, it's just a wonderful collection of great music that I think we're going to be hearing for a while. I, you know, I really appreciate that. And, you know, that was kind of my my approach to it was just to do the type of music that I love, you know, and, and just to, to have that freedom and that creative, uh, uh, you know, autonomy, I would say, to be mm-hmm. able to just go wherever I wanted to go. And 
and not have any restrictions. So, but I, I really appreciate that. That means a lot to me. Yeah. Now I did notice that like each song has like a uniquely different vibe, which is cool. You know, it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because th- this is the one thing I'll say, and, and I think it's a real strong point for me to always clarify whenever, you know, I, I do speak with anyone regarding, you know, my music, you know, I'm a producer first. So, so my album is, or my project is a producer's project, okay. it, you know, so, so whatever I feel as a producer, a songwriter, musician, it comes across that way. Whereas, and, you know, uh, if I'm just a, a musician that may play a specific instrument, you know, the majority of the songs are kind of maybe dominated mm-hmm. by that instrument. Whereas mm-hmm. with my stuff, you know, you, you don't you may not necessarily hear that. You may hear some vocals or you may not hear vocals. OK, that explains that uniquely different vibe that I just talked about. OK, right. cool. <laughs> right. now, now, also, I got to mention that you are a former DJ. So I imagine that, you know, that you listen to a lot of different music. Um now, was there any influence from your DJing days? Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> that, that's, you know, that, that's that's everything to this day as, you know, as a musician. You know, I always go back just first as a producer. So when I when I listen to records, you know, when I was DJing uh, in, in middle school, you know, I was 10, 11, 12 DJing at parties. I mean, I would listen to the actual just the texture of the record, how it sounded you know, the warmth mm-hmm. of it. So that's what I related to. Um, and, and just the way the record made me feel. So yeah, that, that's what's in me. And of course, you know, uh, you know, years ago, I mean, you, you heard all types of music and everything wasn't as, uh, uh, categorized or all mm-hmm. these genres or, or sub, you know, genres or categories, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's so true. I do want to talk about the title, even though I mentioned it in your introduction. Because I know people want to know. I try to ask the questions that I think people may want to know. Right, right. So uh, if I only had a band, tell us about the title. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> What's the so, story? So so just so you know, like, and I don't think this is probably the first time I've ever said this. We were never, ever all in the studio at the same time. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So so the bass player who is uh, Bobby Ramon and uh, the trumpet player, uh Flugelhorn and trumpet player um, Jean Caz, uh, we've never, I've never met them face to face. So, you know, <laughs> we've probably done almost 30, I don't know, maybe close to 30 songs now, but we've done them remotely, you know, mm-hmm. for, well, of course, because of the pandemic. Um, but also, you know, we, our, our workflow just, it worked so well that it didn't really make sense. A body have to drive down from New York or Jean Caz to have to come fly out, you know, from Miami. You know, we could just work that way. But so so the, the premise or the concept behind the project or the title was that, OK, the, the original uh, project was actually going to be played out. All the instruments, the arrangement uh, was going to be done by me just on the keyboard, you know, and, and mm-hmm. just some manipulation there. But, you know, so I basically said, OK, well, what would it sound like if I had a band? You know. Oh yeah. Okay. I get so, it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So so that was that the first approach to it. But then the other thing is that you know I'm not a full time musician. I'm not a gigging musician, mm-hmm. and that's not really my thing. But you know the project was put together basically by someone that's doing music just kind of as a I don't know. I want to say part time, but just it was more of a, a like I said a pet project. You know. But <sighs> yeah. So, okay, well, let me just say, this pet project is all that. and well, I and, appreciate that. And you had some amazing, talented musicians. Let's go in and shout those brothers out again. Absolutely, absolutely. So so first, I'm going to shout out Michael Hudson, who is also from uh, VA, uh, uh, plays uh, the uh, main keys, piano, EP, Rhodes uh, on the project. Uh, next is uh, Jean Caz, who's uh, stated, plays uh, the flugelhorn, the trumpet, we have uh, Bobby Ramon, who also plays. He actually plays the bass, upright bass. His mm-hmm. brother, um, Fritz Ramon, is also on the project on, I think, one or two songs. He plays the acoustic guitar. There's also Anthony Silver, who plays the uh, electric guitar uh, on the project. Uh, there is Jacques Jones, who plays bass on two of the songs. And there's Marcus Parker, who... Uh, play uh, drums on quite a few of the songs. And 
uh, female vocals by uh, uh, Kira, um, Kira O'Brien. And then, uh, you know, then my wife actually did some vocal parts uh, nice. over the song, too. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. <clears throat> So, like I said, nice finished project, and shout out to all the musicians. Wonderful job. Wonderful. Great guys, yeah. too. You know, I just wanted to say that. Really oh, good guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I do want to mention, you know, you talked about the producer side. Now, you had a major role in helping to launch the career for for someone that we may have seen a time or two on TV. You want to tell us who that might be? Oh, yeah, yeah. Elliot Yamin. Absolutely. American sure Idol. Did. Yeah. Yes, yep. Uh, yeah. work, worked with him. Uh, actually, you know, was was developing him and worked with him in the studio before he actually uh, went on the show. Uh, as a matter of fact, he came to my house the day he, he actually, you know, thought about going on the show. And we mm-hmm. had a really good discussion. And, you know, I encouraged him and supported him the entire time. You know, he was on the show and I actually went out to L.A. and, and you know, just had a good time, you know, for him, you know, nice. and watching him blossom. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Nice. Nice to know that you were just a part of that and you saw that whole process, you know, and you were a part of it. So that's a Absolutely. beautiful thing. Yeah. So uh, let, let's go ahead and talk about Terrence, the producer and songwriter. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, you, you currently are writing and producing for, for quite a few artists. Yes. Yes. So you it, are quite busy. I am. I am. I, I like to, you know, I, I just feel like because... I'm such a good space creatively, you know, I just, I might as well just keep working, you know, while I'm in that head space and while, you know, life has me in this season of this position, because, you know, something can happen tomorrow and it can just change all of that. That's so, so true. Yeah. you know, so, so I'm in the moment and I'm just trying to write and produce as much as I can. I'm uh, finishing up a, a song right now with uh, Carmen Bruner, who I'm, I'm really excited about this song with her. Um, it's called um, Too Soon. Okay. Uh, uh, very. I mean, it's 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 a very very nice record. Uh, also, just uh, released a new a new single uh, called "Safe Travels," mm-hmm. featuring um, the vocals of Anita B. Song, who is a, an amazing yes. talent. Yeah, I heard that song. I've been, you know what? I've been rocking that song, and I've Thank also you. been listening to um, "Back in Love" with uh, yes. featuring Ty Silver. Oh, I love yes. that. Yes. And, and look, and Hey Queen, uh, yeah. her strut. <laughs> Yeah, I've been I've been listening. I'm like, okay, I, I love it. I love it. I appreciate that. Yeah. Now, you know, as a producer, now you often wear many hats. You know, you're the writer, arranger, artist, you know, artist coach. Yeah. Now, yeah. what do you find most challenging and what do you find find most rewarding as a producer? You know, you, you know that that's a good question. And and it to me it really comes down to who the artist is, you know. Uh like like for example, with um with recording back in love. Originally, I actually did Back in Love. It was actually going to be my song. And, uh, you know, my wife, she's still on the fence about like, man, now Ty killed it. I mean, I, I mean, she, she did she it. Killed it. She killed that song. <laughs> she did <laughs> but, that. <laughs> but it was something I think because my wife heard it with me first and my original approach to it, you know, but but with someone like her, I mean, she just came in and it was just so effortless, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and by the way. Ty Silver is Anthony Silver's daughter who actually plays guitar on the project. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so, you know, it was easy with her, uh, you know, I mean, and, and there's someone like Carmen and Anita, you know, they, they're like, you know, uh, perfectionist yeah. and, and super professional. So it makes it easier for me, you know? Um, but, but what really is the most challenging part is when somebody's not prepared. You know, um, when when you come in and I just believe for me as an artist, when you get in front of that microphone, you should be able to close your eyes and have the lyrics in you. You know, uh, I, I you, you shouldn't have to be scrolling down at your phone or, you know, at, the, at, at your notes or whatever. But that That's me. And, and I don't like that because I just want an artist. It's, it's like I, I would say it's like this to me. Reading uh, the lines from your phone or from sheet, you know, is the equivalent of an actor or an actress being in a movie with the the script in their hand reading it. You know, <laughs> we don't see that. So, you don't great see that. Point. Yes. Right, yes. Right. Great point. Preparation. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yes. You know, most rewarding part for me is just saying to my wife, hey, I'm going to go to the studio. And, and you know, my um, my pre-production studio where I do 95 percent of my work is is in our house on the first floor. So I'll just go down and, and just starting with nothing. You know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. just hearing like, you know, how 
something like, you know, no inhibitions like came to be, which it was, it was, it didn't exist, you know, and, and it wasn't thought about as a concept. It was just, it was an accident, mm-hmm. you know, and that's mm-hmm. when you, that's the most rewarding part for me is, it's just, you know, not having a process. And the one, that's the one thing I don't have. I, I do not have a specific process that I use to create music. And that's okay. About, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> but it's all about the finished product. That, that's what matters. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's about, it's about, you know, if you feel it, does it resonate with you? And for me, you know, uh, you know, for example, the song Safe Travels was actually, it was the first song that I did on my, uh, uh, if only had a band project, but it didn't fit, you know, what I wanted it to sound like. And it wasn't, it didn't sound the way that it does now. So, mm-hmm. you know, I said, you know what? This song is not going to make the album. You know, a couple of them didn't make it. And, you know, and I'm thank, and I'm really glad that I didn't allow it to make the project because it gave me the opportunity to rework it and make it into what it is now. So, you know, thankfully, it, 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 there was this process that it went through that, it, you know, the end result is what I was really looking to achieve. OK, so let's go back to Back in Love. You, you think we'll hear, ever hear that original maybe on a future project? Because then I'm curious. I want I want to know what the original sound like. I, I can tell you. I mean, <laughs> let me just say this. It, it's I mean, it's nowhere near what Ty did with mm-hmm. it vocally. But what I can say, I had um, so there there uh, there was another guy, a good friend of mine. I actually sent him uh, no inhibitions, you know, after as soon as I did the uh vocal demo for it i sent it uh to guy i don't don't even want to put him out there but (laughs) we were just talking about this yesterday but uh i'm just gonna say his name is eric let me just say that okay i'll leave the last name off okay so so eric got the song and he never got back to me right but he just finally said like yesterday hey man you know the reason why i passed on the song is that i couldn't do it like you i couldn't you know i couldn't make it feel the way you you could And and it's just really you know I'm more of a stylist, you know, if, if it's my music, you know, of course my style is going to fit it, you know, and I'm actually going to write it and tailor it mm-hmm. to where it works for me. So, um, what I can say, you know, definitely once, um, things open up, you know, we start performing more than likely you will definitely hear, uh, my part intertwined okay, with, okay. with Ty's part for sure. Cool. Yes. Cool. Now, you know, when Terrence isn't creating dope music, what you doing? What are some of the things you like to do? Um, wow. I, I, of course, I got a, a beautiful family. You know, mm-hmm. I like to chill. I, I really like to relax. Um, you know, l- love watching, you know, television, just downtime, traveling. You know, my wife and I, we, we, we get, a, you know, very fortunate. You know, we get to, you know, travel, you know, pretty much, you know, when we can't get it in and, um, you nice. know, spending time with family, yeah. It's nice. Just, Not yeah. just simple. I mean, things like that, it's just simple family time. I get it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I, love I mean, it. And, and, and here's another thing. Like, this is kind of crazy, but, you know, I like to vacuum a lot. So, my, <laughs> so, so it's kind of like one of those things. I don't know if it's... It's I, definitely not OCD. I was getting ready to say, are you OCD no, now? Because it's no, okay. No, but, but part of my creative process, like, like in order for me to be creative or in order for me to flow, things have to be in order. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, yeah, I can't have like clutter. Oh, and stuff. I get yes, it. Yes, yes. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, absolutely. Cool, cool. But I, now I need you to do me a favor now. Whenever you are performing, whenever you start performing, because I know things are opening up, um, make sure you, you know, shoot me a message because I want to come out and support me and, and get that live experience. Absolutely. I will definitely make sure um, I do that. that. That's something I'm really looking forward to. Um, and, you know, we, we have, you know, I actually we have a very aggressive production schedule for the rest of the year. You know, God willing, you know, my goal is to put out to either put out or produce at least two songs, you know, every month, you know, uh, on other artists and, and have those songs going to the market. And, and, you know, what I'm really trying to do ultimately is to kind of build my own community mm-hmm. of other artists. So, you know, right. for example, with, you know, Carmen and Ty. You know, definitely looking forward to doing more songs with Ty. Uh, Carmen, there's another artist that uh, I just started working with. And, and she's really, I mean, she has a song. It's called So Confused. Okay. She's from the UK. I, I think it's going to be a very, very nice record. Mm-hmm. So, 
you know. Nice, nice. Okay, well, I'm going to have to check out all of your artists. Yeah, I'm going to make sure, you know, I, I, you know, keep you up to speed on what we're doing. But, cool. but you know, so getting all that music out and, and then, you know, hopefully there'll be a, you know, big enough demand that I can actually go and do some gigs. But for me, you know, I, I don't, I'm at the point in life that, you know, if I never made another record, let's just say this, if, if we disconnect, you know, and this interview airs and you never hear from me again, my life is good. I'm great. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? All, you know what? It, yes. That's what matters. That's yeah, what matters. Yeah. Yes. Because I did it. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I, I've gotten further, you know, for me personally, I got further than I ever expected, you know, um, you know, with doing it, just, you know, the fact that I had, you know, the opportunity and blessed years ago to work with, you know, some people that I work with and got uh, credits for certain records and stuff. So that within itself was, is the success to me, you know, everything else is just kind of like icing on the cake, but um, I, I want it to be a situation that, you know, I don't want to have to grind day in mm-hmm. and day I, out to try to build a brand. I mean, I feel you. Know, you. Yeah. I yeah. feel you on this, but I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Terrence Thompson becomes a household name. I just wouldn't be surprised. You that's know, all I'm going to say. So. I received that. <laughs> <laughs> Second person in two days to say that. I'll see? That. Well, see? Yes. There you go. There you go. Now, before we go, Terrence, I'd like to play a quick game. You down for a quick game? I'm down for a game. Absolutely. It's fun. It's easy. It's called Pick One. Okay. That's it. Okay. You know, a lot of people want to give me two and three answers. Pick one. I can do that. Okay. You're offered an opportunity to work with one of the following two producers. Pick one. Pharrell Williams or Timberland? Oh, man. Like, you, I like, hold on. See, see, first of all, I mean, how can you even ask that question? I I had to make it, listen, I want to make it challenging. So, so first, you know, I can't even go based on hometown now. I know, I know. All three of us are from Virginia. You, you know, so I know you this. got me. You, I know. So you jam, you jam me up on that. Come but, on, this has some fun. But I, 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 easy answer is this: uh, game changer. Timberland is a game changer. You know, okay. game okay. changer. Okay. But, but the person that I think that would get me the most, or the person that I would get the most, is Pharrell. Hands okay. Down. Okay, cool. You know, no, yeah. no problem. We still got mad love for Timberland. I guess. Oh, absolutely. You're yeah. still on the home team, so you can't yes. go wrong. So, <laughs> you know. Okay, next question. Five star restaurant. What you eating? Pick one, land, sea, or neither? Probably sea. Okay, okay. Last and final question. It's vacation time. Where you going? Pick one, Bora Bora or Barcelona? Wow. Bora Bora. Boom. There you have it. <laughs> so we learned a little bit more about Mr. Terrence Thompson. Yes. Thank you, sir, for being a good sport. It's been fun. Now, before you go, I need you to tell the folks out there how to get at you on social media. And if they want to work with you, you know, they need some production, or, you know, uh, you know, someone to work with. Go ahead and tell them how to get at you. Absolutely. Best way to get me is the uh, Facebook uh, at producer Terrence Thompson. Also uh, on my website, uh, MrTerrenceThompson.com is the best way to get me. And look forward to connecting with anybody that, you know, that want to work, you know, look forward to that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today and good luck to you and all that you do. And, you know, keep producing and making that good music because, you know, we all need it. Music is what connects us all. I appreciate that. Thank you for having me. God bless you. And uh, just let me know if there's anything else I can do or on my end. Appreciate Absolutely. It. Share some of those artists with me so I can bring them on the Smiley J Artist Zone. I will definitely do that. Ty Silver would be a good interview. Perfect. Perfect. Make the connection. I'll definitely do it. Until next time, be well. Peace. You too. Hey, this is Al C4. And you're in the Smiley J Artist Zone.
That was so much fun. Thank you guys for hanging out with me to the very end. And thank you, Mr. Terrence Thompson, for hanging out with me today in the Artist Zone. Now, y'all be sure to check out Terrence's latest project, If I Only Had a Band, and be sure to follow him on social media. Now, don't forget that Terrence is a producer and songwriter. So to all my artist friends out there, if you are in need of, uh, you know, some, some production and songwriting services, go ahead and holler at Mr. Terrence. And also, uh, if you're not following me, be sure to follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, YouTube, and uh, all the podcast social media platforms. And also, if you are feeling a little generous and you want to support The Smiley J Show, go ahead and make a donation of any amount. PayPal me, The Smiley J Artisan, or you can cash at me, dollar sign T-S-J-A-Z. Until next time, I'm going to need you guys to be well, stay safe. And remember to listen to good music. Your ears will thank you for it. I'm Smiley J, and I'm out.